Commander. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Transmission from the Council. Coming on screen. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. to China for the next operation. The Council believes Dr. Marizuki's research to be extremely valuable. They're requesting we escort him safely to the evac point. Big Sky will be in position to make the pickup at the other end of the facility. New objective received. here have been focused on studying the alien flight paths, in the hopes of determining exactly where it is they came from. Missed the 
target. so far, it's clear the aliens have developed a propulsion system that allows for faster than light travel. Strike one. We've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. I find myself wondering how far these creatures have traveled to undertake this invasion. The resources involved are staggering. Strike one. Get ready.
down. I'm on the move. Affirmatif. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here.
So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them Meld. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes which appear to be reptilian in nature. results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Remember, we will be watching.